On April 6, 1994, the president of Rwanda in Burundi was shot down, triggering a 100-day genocide when a million people lost their lives. Since then, God's been at work erasing racial divides. He's creating amazing hope, improbable reconciliation, impossible forgiveness. Humphrey Marr, Latasha Morrison, and I had a chance to visit Rwanda with Africa New Life Ministries, an amazing sponsorship program that has over 5,000 kids sponsored these days, making amazing differences. Pastor Charles Buriega is the founder of uh, Africa New Life, and about 10 years ago he had a vision uh, to start a school, and with about nine students he started a school in Kayonza. And today that school is the number one school in Rwanda. It uh, tested against a thousand other schools. Um, everybody in Rwanda now wants to go to that school, uh, elected officials, dignitaries, but it's a school for orphans and street children, and it's an amazing story. FEFC has over 50 people who are sponsoring children in the uh, African New Life organization, and this has been more or less an organic kind of thing in the church, which is really a a cool thing when you think about it. It's a real spirit-led uh, effort and it provided an opportunity to sponsor children and as I learned things about the organization I, I became more and more uh, attracted to it. A short while later I found myself sponsoring a child named Delphine and my wife and I got excited about this and one thing led to another and ended up in, in Rwanda and what I saw there was amazing a country in revival, a country of hope, um, and a country where God is really moving. And African New Life is a part of that. At the Dream Center, we got to have lunch with uh, Dream Boys, a program for 50 kids that haven't made it to sponsorship yet, but have been living on the streets. We got to help wash their hands. We got to serve them lunch. Latasha shared the gospel and concluded by asking, if any would like to pray to receive Jesus Christ as their personal savior, and 20 hands went up. Later in the week, we saw a real miracle where we went to a place called Kajeo, which is a game park where refugees were resettled, and it was a real humanitarian crisis a few years ago. And there's a new school there, just a few years old, called Kajeo A. And that school has done so well that the government donated 600 laptops to the school. They just got electricity last year, and we had the pleasure of being there when these uh, laptops were delivered to the kids. Uh, Kajeo B is another school which just opened and they have over 900 kids which that is really a relief effort right now. They're trying to feed these kids, get a cup of porridge in them. There was a lot of disease, a lot of worms, a lot of sickness and uh, I had the pleasure of seeing our sponsor child is a child at that school, uh, Delphine and her family. Uh, we're really in, in desperate shape and by providence God really put her family in our life right at that time and I thought how special is that that you have an opportunity to support a kid on the other side of the world but then you can go over and meet her family and they become almost a part of your family and uh, that was the real highlight of my trip. Africa New Life Balance is sharing the gospel with acts of compassion. Their current needs include building a church in Bujasera, finishing the school in Kayonza, sponsoring pastors for the Africa College of Theology. They'd like to see over 400 kids sponsored in Kayonza so that they can have more than a cup of porridge a day. As I looked over the table of kids needing sponsorship, I saw two tables full of cards, and then I saw a giant stack more kids needing sponsorship. I felt overwhelmed. When I do feel overwhelmed by the amount of need out there, I think back of what the founder of Africa New Life, Pastor Charles, says. You cannot change the world, but you can change the world for one. <laughs>